Hey, what's up you guys? Chris here, back with another video, and I managed to get my hands on this Charizard EX box. I figured let's do a quick video because it's been a while since I actually sat down and filmed a video. As you guys can tell, I actually moved. It, things look a little different. I kind of painted the room a similar color to my last room, but for the most part, a lot of things aren't up yet. You'll see it over time that we'll end up getting more decor and stuff in the background. I think I'm gonna put my lights up in the back so you can see it in the camera. But I just wanted to make this quick video because I haven't had time to actually make one. So I figured let's open this bad boy up. Hopefully we can get some good pulls. I've been seeing people get some really good ones out of this box, but you know, let's just get right into it. Alrighty guys, so here it is. We got the Charizard EX Premium Collection box. This was being sold for $40 retail, so hopefully it's worth it. I think that there's a good selection of packs in here, so hopefully we'll be able to pull something good. But let's quickly go through everything that's inside. Alrighty, so here is everything in the box. We will quickly go through everything. Um, what I'm noticing off the bat real quick is I don't see any 151. I don't think that they're gonna include them, but if you see anything with the 151 in these boxes, let me know, because I'm genuinely curious. Um, that's kind of a bummer considering I haven't opened up too much 151. Um, considering the big move, we weren't trying to, we, me weren't trying to spend that much money, but if you guys want to see me open up more 151 or any other set, definitely make sure to subscribe or watch this video fully through. It actually brings the channel closer to monetization, so we'll be able to use that money to put towards more stuff to open up on camera. But yeah, let's get back into it real quick. We are looking at a few promos in the back. That's for sure. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. We got a code card and another promo. So real quick, there's a code card upside down. There's the code card if it focuses. And these are, are our promo cards. So first we got Charmander. He's looking great. I actually really like the art here and the hollow really does complement it. Then we got Charmeleon looking super cool as usual. And then we got this promo Charizard, which is based off the one that you can find in Obsidian Flames, I believe. So hopefully we can pull the one actually out of the booster pack, but only time will tell. So let's just put it to the side for now. Okay, so in addition to that, we also get this cool little thing that you could put, I think it's magnetic in some way. You could put cards in here to display them. I have no idea how to open this thing. Let's see, oh, opens from the top. Yeah, it's a magnetic little case, so you put your favorite card in there. Let's see, we'll, we'll put it with Charizard in there real quick. Look at that, that's pretty cool. And then this just slots at the bottom and the magnet keeps it closed. That is pretty cool, pretty cool. And I haven't seen this in many premium collection boxes before. I got into Pokemon, well, back into Pokemon pretty late. So uh, I'm not sure if this is in some older stuff that I just missed, but this is a cool product or thing to include with it if it hasn't been done before. We'll put this guy right here for now. We also have these Charizard sleeves, which the art here also looks like they can be from Obsidian Flames with the dark terror type there. This is pretty sweet. I'm not a big fan of the Pokemon um, sleeves that come in most of these products. If you want better or quality sleeves, the ones that they let you order directly off of Pokemon Center's website, they are for some reason a lot better quality than the ones that you get in these types of boxes or products overall. But we'll put this one to the side. This has to be a stand for our little magnetic card thingy. So if I'm correct, this should slot right here. Yeah, there it is. So yeah, it just keeps it nice and propped up. So you can even put this on a shelf if you want. You don't even have to have this Charizard card in it. You can put whatever your favorite card is and it has all the different types on top. So it won't even be a big deal if it's not a fire type in this little protector. I like this a lot though. It's a cool little addition. All right guys, so it's now time for the cards. We have one, two, three, four, five, six booster packs. We got Obsidian Flames, Paldea Evolved, Scarlet and Violet, another Obsidian Flames, another Paldea Evolved, and another base set Scarlet and Violet. I still haven't completed my master set for the original Scarlet and Violet base set, so hopefully we can pull something I'm still missing out of here. But these are some pretty good sets overall. People have been a little lukewarm when it comes to these Scarlet and Violet sets, and I have been enjoying it overall. The art is really nice. 
I think part of it is a lot of people collect for money and, and monetary value, and a lot of these cards aren't up there in price or what they're worth, so people aren't as excited. But the art that they include in all these sets is it's always so nice. So anyway, let's, why don't we start in release order. We'll start with Scarlet Violet, then we'll do Paldé Evolved, and then we'll end with Obsidian Flames. So let's get into this. I got my first pack here. Guys, it's so hot with all these lights on me, and it's still like pitch dark in the back. I gotta get some lights for the back because it's just super dark. We're gonna put one to the front, don't look. Okay, so we are starting off with a Fighting Energy. We got Atropius, Pokeball, we got Rotom, Palpad, we got Blissey, Jacques, Florigato, we got Tarantula, we got a Reverse Drifloon, and we got a Quaquaval. So I have all these cards, nothing special here, but I'm gonna put these guys to the side for now because we still have a few more packs. This one, I'm feeling lucky for the, ooh, I'm feeling lucky for this one. We don't wanna spoil anything for ourselves. So we are starting off with a fire energy, a Lechonk, we got a Flabebe, Growlithe, Staravia, Katie, Staraptor, Electric Generator, a Reverse Curlia, a Reverse Meow Scarada, and a Hollow Slowbro, which I also already have. But you know, again, no big deal. We're just warming up. We got some other sets here to get us into the groove. We got our two Paldea Evolved booster packs. I think some of the art for the starters are actually pretty cool in this set. So hopefully we could pull one of those starter arts. And that being said, that means there's nine to go through because each one has an evolu evolution stages and their gallery cards. But we got Tinka Tink, we got Mankey, Delibird, we got uh, Super Rod, Dun Dun Sparse, pa Passimian, we got Corviknight, Reverse Figuroth, we got a Lit Leo, and a Weavile. Okay, so nothing there yet, so, but you know, there's still three more packs. We have to get lucky with at least one of them, so. If anything, I would hope the Obsidian Flames come through if this one isn't a banger right here. But, who knows? Let's just get into it and we'll find out immediately. So, another fighting energy. We got uh, Clavel, we got Tropius, Combi, Glimlet, uh, Luminous Energy, cool. We got a Bombardier, Flamigo, Heracross Reverse, Bramblin Reverse, and a Sableye, dang. You know, I don't really know what's going on here because my 151 pulls have been trash, the ones that I have been able to open. Um, even the Palde the Obsidian Flames, I got lucky and I got the Gold Charizard, which was awesome. But other than that, I haven't pulled anything insane from these sets. So let's hope that something lucky happens. If we can get just one good card, I'd be pretty happy, but Ready? Let's see. We got um, we got Steel Energy, Tadvol, Numel, Mawile, Togedemaru, Dartrix, Oink Alone, Salazzle, Bond Sweet. Oh, we got Pidgeot EX. That was awesome. And we got a Toga Kiss. But look at this beautiful like gallery art. That is this is like an illustration rare. I love this. This is awesome. Wait, we got some sleeves over here. I got some to hold out and hope that we can get something good. And we also have a little top loader for it. We got real lucky with this guy. I'm pretty sure I have the Pidgey art for this. So I think I'm missing Pidgeotto and that's it. But look how cool that is guys, wow. And then let's just put this to the side. And we got one more pack left. So I'm really excited to see if we can get one more banger even after that EX card. One last chance for awesomeness. We got a Dark Energy, uh, Scyther, we got Meltan, Charcadet, one of my favorite new generation Pokemon right there. He's a cool little guy. Ponyard, we also get a Float Soul, an Umbreon, a Lapras. That is some gorgeous art there, wow. And then we got a Finizen Reverse, a Gumshoes Reverse, and one 
two, three. Oh, okay, okay, not terrible, but we got a Clefable EX, which I don't have this one, so that is totally fine, I will take it. And then putting that next to our Pidgeot EX, that looks pretty solid. Now, do I wish we could have gotten a, like one more pull out of the six packs? Sure, but you're not gonna be guaranteed that for every single booster box you get or booster box or box product in general. All right guys, so we didn't pull anything crazy, but this product does come with some cool little things like this magnet protector and the stand for it. But overall, we ended up getting this really awesome Pidgeot EX and Clefable card. So I can't be too, too mad. Just, uh, I guess you just gotta hope your luck is a little higher. Do you think this was worth the money I spent? Do, have you purchased one of these? Have you pulled anything great out of them? Let me know in the comments and be sure to slam that subscribe button if you aren't already. Like I said, we're still trying to monetize the channel. So any support, the longer you watch, the, the more you watch really does help. So eventually we can use that money to fund things on the channel for more activities. But again, thank you guys so much and be sure to keep your eyes out for future Pokemon and video game content. Bye.